Okay, this looks like it's pretty easy, but you got to read directions. You're going to multiply or divide the following measurement numbers. Round answers to the same number of significant digits as the least accurate number. So, yeah, it's, a, I mean, like, let's be honest, a third grader could multiply on a calculator, but um, you got to know what you're rounding to. So remember with significant digits, let's look at the first number, 18.9. All non-zero digits are significant. So one, two, three. So that number has three significant digits. Okay, non-zero numbers, all of them are significant. So the least accurate number is the one with the three. Okay, so I'm going to put three sig figs. Means when I punch this on the calculator, I only want three um, three digits is what we're rounding. Okay, so there's three digits right there. It's an eight. Look after it. That would stay an eight, so it'd be forty-four point eight. Okay, now you got a division problem. Now, first off, you want to put a decimal probably right there because when dealing with significant digits, you're going to want a decimal. Okay, um, all non zero digits are significant, so right there, or you got two there, right here, you got five. Okay, but we got to take a look at those zeros. Zeros between non zero digits are significant, but those are not between. Okay. Zeros after a decimal are significant. Those do not come after the decimal. Final zeros before a decimal are not significant. So those right there, not significant. So I don't mark them as significant. Sig figs. Okay, so two sig figs is what we're rounding to. So 8,900 divided by 52.861. Now, I got 16, okay? We're gonna, that's going to go to a 17, but you need to put 170, okay? You need to complete the number before the decimal, so 170. Because that does have two sig figs, because the decimal's right there. That's one, that's two, that would not be a sig fig, the zero, because it's a final zero before the decimal. Don't put 17, you complete the number before the decimal, that's what we got. Okay, next one. Non-zero digits. We'll just mark them down. Zeros between non-zero digits. So that zero is a betweener. That one's not. Zeros after a decimal are significant. That's not after the decimal. That is a final zero before a decimal, so it's not significant. So we're going to go two sig figs here. So I go 33.08 times 0 0.23. Okay, 2, so you'd have 7.6. I think that would stay a 6, so 7.6. Okay, how many sig figs here? Well, let's mark out the non-zero. Those count. Zeros between non-zero digits are significant. These are not between anything, okay? So, zeros after a decimal are significant. These are after the decimal, okay? These two aren't. Final zeros before a decimal are not significant. So, basically, they each have three, so we're going to go roll with three sig figs. 0 0.007 times 0 0.852. Once again, you're going three, okay? Now remember, zeros after a decimal are sig figs, okay? One, two, three. That five is going to go up to a six, okay? So 0 0.006. Okay, the next problem. got two, now you got three numbers, that's got four. It's got one, now let's decide the zeros or what are kind of between is significant. I don't have any betweener zeros. 
zeros after a decimal are significant. Okay, so that is significant. Okay, those are significant. Final zeros before a decimal are not significant. So the least accurate number, it's a tie for three. So I'm gonna, after I calculate that, I'm gonna round it to three sig figs. So I go 6.80 divided by 9.765 times 0 0.007, okay? So three, that doesn't count. One, two, remember zeros after the decimal are significant. Three, okay? So 0 0.004, that would go to 0 0.005. Remember, you count it if it's after a zero. Okay, that's got three already with the non-zeros. The non-zeros are kind of no-brainers, okay? Zeros in between, well, these are all in between things I've already marked, so that one has one, two, three, four, five, six significant digits. It's a pretty accurate number. Zeros after a decimal, okay, that would be these. So that's got five, and those zeros before don't count, okay? Even if it's only a zero, if it would be like 720, okay, you would not count the zero, okay, as a sig, sig fig. That's where people get confused. And they just got to know those rules. Okay, so the least accurate number I have is five. Okay, so I'm going to round it to five sig figs. So five, okay, point zero 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 one seven times 16.874 times... 0 0.12300 okay that counts that's one now that's before a decimal okay that's a zero but it's 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 a final zero before a decimal okay so we don't really count that okay i know that seems kind of weird but we don't really oh no i am going to count it because it's between two okay so one sorry about that ignore what i just said one two three, four, five, I want five, and then the eight after it, that would be 378, 10.378. So yeah, you do count that zero because the rules, it's between, it's between two non-zero digits, okay. <clears throat> So again, all non-zero digits are significant. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. The zeros between non-zero digits are significant. We don't have any betweeners. Zeros after a decimal are significant. Okay. Final zeros before a decimal are not significant. So no, no. So the least accurate number we have is with two. So I'm going to go two sig figs. 0 0.00956 times 34.3 times 0 0.75. Take a glance at your calculator, okay? That's a final zero before the decimal, okay? It does not count, okay? Because remember the rule for zeros, SB, but it's not, it's not a betweener. Okay, it's not after a decimal, it's a final zero before, so that does not count, okay, as one of my two. One, two, but then there's a five, so it goes 0 0.25. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Zero between uh, non-zero digits is significant, okay? Now, these are betweeners right here, okay? Okay, because these are zeros in between, so yeah, you count them. Because you mark this and this, those are betweeners. 
zeros after decimal are significant. Okay. All right. So um, the least significant amount you have is four four sig figs. Okay. So you take two seventy point zero zero one times seven point one zero zero times nineteen point eight five three. Okay, so there's one, there's two, that zero, it's a betweener, so that counts three, four, okay. So that's going to be three, eight, zero, five, it's going to be three, eight, zero, six, but then we got to put a zero because I need to complete the number before the decimal, 